hitting out of the park with that one. Anybody could cook this shit, all right? You don't need a PhD. What's up, people? John Joseph, The Hard Truth, episode motherfucker seven. Lucky seven, you know why it's lucky? Because I'm making a fucking no death meatloaf. There's no dead animals ground up in this fucking thing. And we are in the process of also making potatoes, but we're not just making any ordinary potatoes. We're doing cashew cream sweet potatoes, so stay tuned. I had a bunch of people ask me, yo, what do you do? Um, you know, they have a, a meatloaf recipe? I do, it's called the no death loaf, cause I'm the no death chef. We got this amazing Beyond Meat, Crumbles, non-GMO, I love this company. Motherfuckers are all bugging on Beyond Meat. This is a base. We ground up one cup of walnuts, one cup of almonds, and one cup of cashews. So when these Mama Wook motherfuckers keep asking me, yo, where do you get your protein? This is what this is a, this is a heavy duty protein dish, alright? So this is follow your heart. Vegan organic cheese. This is where I get energy, man. Cooking is life. So look at that. It's a meatloaf, right? We got our basmati rice over here. Oh, that's good. What I'm doing here is helping the average Joe. Now, some of you fucking Chef Boy RD motherfuckers are gonna be like, yo, what's up with using sauce from the jar? Not everybody's gonna be into making their own sauce. I even put a little ketchup in that shit too. Trader Joe's, baby, organic. We're doing two tablespoons of Worcestershire, vegan. So we did the sage, we did the basil, we did the thyme. I gotta find the black pepper. We put in breadcrumbs, half tablespoon of salt. Come on, baby, come on. Come on, come to papa, okay? We put the pepper. We got fresh tomatoes going in there. I used plum, extra virgin olive oil. And it's just really so that shit doesn't stick. I'd rather eat this and get healthy and cock diesel like a motherfucker than to eat. Do you know that ground beef could come from different slaughterhouses all over the country? You think, oh, I'm eating ground beef. It's from one fucking cow. Dude, your ground beef could be from fucking 20 cows. But let me tell you something. A lot of people cop my book Meat is for pussies, right? I got a chapter in there called Meat and Your Meat. I tell you that meat causes motherfucking erectile dysfunction. Why? What does meat do? It clogs up your arteries, your veins, your capillaries. What's the main vein, fellas? Meat, it's what's for dinner, this and that, the other fucking thing. And making it look all macho with cowboys and all these guys looking all macho. But what's macho about taking fucking Cialis or Viagra or down the road having a shit in a colostomy bag because they fucking took out half of your stomach? Wake the fuck up. They're getting you ready for your next surgery. This is preventative medicine. All right, I'm going to slap this. Look, I'm slapping the shit out of this. Ooh, make it yours. Who's your baby? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Oh, ho, ho, ho. So we preheated our oven to 350, right? Everything is fucking laid out for you. It's so fucking, it's so simple. A fucking second grader could do it. Anytime it's attention to detail. Where's the heat in the oven? Is it in the front? No, it's in the motherfucking back, in the middle. We push shit. If I say 50 minutes, I mean 50 minutes back there, not up the front. Not with your fucking aluminum foil hanging half off. You do shit the right way. That's fucking done. I was tired when I came in. I didn't sniff coke. I didn't drink coffee. 
This is me cooking. This is me on cooking. That's all it is. I'm cooking and I know that y'all motherfuckers are gonna make this and you're gonna fucking keep going. And I'm getting fucking 20, 30, 40 emails of fucking every few days of people telling me, yo, I lost weight. Yo, I started training. Yo, I got off alcohol. I got off drugs. Anybody could do it, man. Apply yourself. Stay tuned. We about to whip some motherfucking potatoes. Look at this. Look at this. You want glycogen, you fucking animals? You want to go to the gym? You want to have countless amounts of energy? You know what I say? No way, Jose. I don't drink no way. You eat motherfucking sweet potatoes, your shit's going to be on fire. Let's get this done. You have your two cups of cashews that have been soaked overnight. You got three cups of filtered water in here. So we need to grind this up. So we're going to put this cashews, the soy milk, we don't use milk, I went over that already, we put a little nutmeg, look at that, look at how creamy that is, wait till that gets added into the fucking sweet potatoes, so here's our sweet potatoes, three quarters of a cup, you know I love me some earth balance, turn it down, we don't want to make a splatter, we add our cashew cream as we go. Look at that. So we're in February, right? And you know what? Most people have already given up on their New Year's resolutions. You want to get your summer beach body, this, that. There's no fucking days off. There's no days off. There's no days off up here. Because even if you don't train, you should be doing something getting ready for the next day. Even if your body, I, I do take rest days, but I don't quit here. Something's always going on here. Number fucking two that we're getting into here is the corruption that exists in this fucking country. This is the new cookbook, seventh edition from the New American Heart Association cookbook. Now, if you saw What the Health, my boy Kip Anderson's film, who's getting everybody, that film's getting everybody to go fucking plant-based. That and Forks Over Knives. And you know what he said? He went on the American Heart Association, the diabetes, the cancer, and he said, all right, what kind of fucking recipes are you putting on here? And you know what every fucking one of them was? The shit that's causing you the problems. Look at this shit. Every motherfucking recipe in here is fucking meat. There's only a couple of, oh, sophisticated spinach with cream. With, what the fuck is wrong with you people? You fucking getting people sick. You should just give up. You should just quit. You have no business telling people how to fucking eat. This is garbage. You know what I do with this fucking book? Where's the fucking garbage? And if you go on the American Heart Association's fucking page, you know who they're getting fucking money from? You know who their donators are? The motherfuckers that's putting that food out. That's why they don't expose them. That's called corruption. That's called corruption. This fucking medical industry, this food shit, this medicine shit, this pharmaceutical shit, they're all fucking working in cahoots to get you sick, man. They have the audacity to claim that that's from the American Heart Association? My mother comes out of quadruple bypass surgery. They're giving her fucking hamburgers and french fries. What the fuck? Are you, are you serious? This goes back in. 10 minutes. Uncovered. This will bake in. Let me shut the fuck up and let's eat. What do you say, man? See, look at the layers you got in here. You got your cashews. Your walnuts. Your almonds. Your Beyond Meat beef crumbles. You got your vegan cheese. You got your celery. I went from chef to fucking director. Watch this. I want to see Reese's reaction. Are you ready? Look at me, Give me Let's that go. fucking camera. What's Holy up? Hold on. What's up? What's up? What's up? That tastes like I oh know it does, God. motherfucker. Jesus. Now try them potatoes. Try them potatoes. Meat. Come on now, what's the How verdict? Creamy is that? Yo, you make some potatoes. fucking biscuits? Oh my god. Oh! Boom! 
home, I hit it out of the park with that one. Look, I'm really proud of a lot of you motherfuckers that's out there trying. You know, you're giving up the booze, you're giving up the drugs, the cigarettes, the meat, the dairy, you're working out. You know, it, it, it's really, uh, we're, the, we're on this journey together, man. I, I learned the same shit the same way 37 fucking years ago and I stuck with it. Keep battling every day, man. Did you work out today? Did you do something today? Did you sweat? You gotta put the sweat equity in. I sweat every fucking day.